Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve the indefinite integral of 1 over x times x minus 1 squared. To be able to do this, we must first find the partial fraction decomposition of our integrand 1 over x times x minus 1 squared. Our denominator is already factored, but one of the factors is to the power of 2, so we have to take that into account as increasing powers of that factor in the denominator, so we're going to get that our integrand can be expressed as a over x plus b over x minus 1 plus c over x minus 1 squared. Then, to get the common denominator, we must multiply a by x minus 1 squared, so we're going to get a times x minus 1 squared. Then we must multiply b by x minus 1 times x. So we're going to get bx times x minus 1. Then we have to multiply c by x. So we're going to get cx. And everything divided by our common denominator x times x minus 1 squared. Then, in the numerator, our highest term will be x squared, and its coefficient will be a plus b. Then, the x term will have the coefficient of minus 2a from the x minus 1 squared part, minus b from the minus 1 times bx part, plus c from the cx part, so minus 2a, minus b, plus c, x, and then our constant term will be just a, and everything still divided by x times x minus 1 squared. This then implies that a plus b must be equal to zero, since there's no x squared term on the left hand side, and accordingly minus 2a minus b plus c has to also be equal to zero, since there's no x term on the left hand side. And our constant term will be equal to 1, so a is equal to 1, and this then implies that a is of course equal to 1, b has to be equal to minus 1, since as a plus b has to be equal to 0, and c has to be equal to 1, since as minus 2 minus minus 1, so plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So this then implies that our integrand 1 over x times x minus 1 squared can be expressed as 1 over x minus 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over x minus 1 squared. And now we're almost ready to integrate, and before we do that, we're going to make the following substitution. We let u be equal to x minus 1, so that du is just dx. And now we can say that our integral i is equal to the indefinite integral of 1 over x dx. minus the indefinite integral of 1 over u, since x minus 1 was equal to u, du, plus the indefinite integral of 1 over u squared du. Then the integral of 1 over x dx is just natural logarithm of the absolute value of x, then we're going to have minus natural logarithm of the absolute value of u minus 1 over u since 
that you're with f of 1 over u will be minus 1 over u squared plus our integration constant c and let's go back to our original variable x to get that our integral i is equal to the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x minus the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x minus 1 since u was equal to x minus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1 plus our integration constant c and this here is our final result.